Alrighty, so round one we played against Snorlax, Sammy playing the uh, TDK deck with Keldeo. We saw Silent Live come into play. We saw we saw Trevenant take a tree slam knockout, which is pretty cool. And now we're playing against Bell Sprout Boy. Uh, anything in here? Any noticeable names? I uh, I don't know. I don't really know names on PTCGO. So this is round two. Hopefully, we can make it to the finals and this time win and not uh, mess up like we did last time. We beat TDK. Unlike last time when we lost to it. So let's see what happens here. Max round time remaining. We haven't started the match yet. There we go. Alright, hopefully we get to go first here. So once again, we're playing against a Bell Sprout Boy playing Colors Psychic deck. Is he also playing Ginga? Oh, he has a Gengar coin. Oh, this is a Gengar mirror match. That'd be really cool. I don't know how that works. Oh, we start shaming here. That's if it is a Gengar mirror match, that's not what you want to start with. That's uh mm -mm, that's a big no-no. Alright, so we start Shay Shay here. Not the best either, because you can't attach mystery energies to him. So we see Chandler, Zubat, Zubat. Oh, right here. I'll play Trainer's Mail. We'll get the end for sure. So that's a good turn. One there. So we'll just play the end. Alright, we get a little Phantom down. We put a Floodstone on this Phantom. And here we'll just end our turn. Hopefully next turn we can draw to a DC and Sky Return and save our Trevenant from being knocked out. Because I imagine this Curse Drop will put, put, we'll put four damage counters on our Shay Shay. Here we see a Dusk Gold down, come down. So we see a Dusk Nor, uh Chandelure deck. Here we see a Rollers get Flip Heads. Uh, but the cool thing about Trevenant here is he can't r really use Rare Candy. So he, he's going to have to manually evolve this Dusk Nor. And uh, is Chandler weak? Ah, oh, he's weak to dark. I keep forgetting that Chandler is weak to dark. He's not weak to psychic. Here we see another roller skates. What the heck? My opponent's going crazy with these roller skates. Forget real supporters. We're going to play roller skates and Kangaskhan. Seems good, boys. Does he get the energy per turn, though, is the question here. There we see the psychic energy. Is the curse drop going to go to the Shaman or the Phantom? I, I would think it's going to go to the Shay Shay here. I'm glad he put all these Pokemon down, too, because we we had to coerce. And uh, we had to coerce for like two. And I'll get to the coalition for five. So thank you. Bell Sap Boys. Oh, it goes my Trevenant here. Why would you do that? Alright, so put the tree tree down. We Ultra Ball discard these two. Here we will get a Ginga. Come on, Ginga. Do some work for me, buddy. And here we'll play Chorus for six. Uh, we get a Phantom. We get a Gengar. Here we'll play Ultra Ball discard Trevenant and Jirachi. And here we'll get another Shaman. Just to try to draw into some stuff. Yep, play the Shay Shay. Draw six cards. I guess uh, we just going with energy. This is like last game. Here, trainers mode. Give me computer search. Oh, get a floatstone. I guess that could be something. Um, we can put thirty on Duskull twice and knock it out next turn with the Dimension Valley play, which seems cute. So let's be cute here. We're gonna send up uh, Ginga and Night Attack. We'll put three damage on this Duskull. If he doesn't have a Dust Clops, we can actually knock out this Duskull before it evolves here, because that could be a problem for us. Um. Stinks that we whiffed in energy. I seem to be doing this for some reason. Well, we only play eight energies. Here we see a dust cops come down. Um, so we can't knock it out next turn. We can't knock it out. Oh, which kind of stinks there. Kind of wasted three damage counters. Here we see a Winona. Search deck for three colors. Pokemon. Feel them. Oh, Mega Kangaskhan is going to come out to play here. Are we going to see a Mega Evolve here to end our turn? Here we see a Pokemon Catcher Heads. Oh, man. My opponent is playing the crazy deck here. He brings up Trevenant. Uh huh. Or does he have energy? Is he going to get Eerie Glows for knockout? We're going to see an Eerie Glow here for the knockout here. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so excited. I just don't even know. Oh, see the DC come back up? I'm vaguely confused as what's happening now. Maybe he's like, I don't want to. Oh, he needs a Psyche Energy. Oh, he cheated us. Oh, DC goes out of Mega Kangaskhan, which is good for us because we can actually just play an Enhanced Hammer and get rid of that DC there. Alright, so let's see. What does my opponent have here? Is he going to Eerie Glow us? I mean, Curse, curse Drop us? Yeah, he's going to Curse Drop us. Alright. So we see some damage going out to Trevenant. And one go to Gengar. It lets him put him any way he wants to, so he can put it four any way he wants to. Two on the Gengar. And let's see here, where does the last one go to? And three on Gengar and one on Trevenant. Okay, so here we get a Psychic Energy. We'll put it up to the Gengar that didn't take a hit that turn. Um, we'll just coerce here. We could Ultra Ball get another Trevenant, but it doesn't seem worth it. So we'll just coerce here. We get an Enhanced Hammer, discard that DCE. We get another Trevenant down. Uh, here we actually put a Verbeck City Gem just in case my opponent tries to use some Cursed or Eerie Glow shenanigans. He can't really use it. And, uh... 
Hmm. We can retreat and dark and shadow uh, night attack once again, trying to put thirty pressure on this dust cops. So we're going to do that here. We're going to retreat to this Gengar, and we're going to night attack, put three damage on this dust dust cops. I really don't like dust noir because it allows it allows some some shady stuff with the uh, with the Zubats and Crobats and Golbats and stuff like that, and it's just not good for us. I don't think a Dragalge is going to be really useful here, just because he doesn't play Keldeo, but we can always just uh, uh, poison somebody to keep him in the active spot. So here we see a Psychic Energy going onto the uh, Chandelure here. Now we are weak to Dark also, yeah, just like the Chandelure is, so he can only do 70 to us, but we can be confused, which is pretty annoying here, but he needs a Dimension Valley. Does he get the Dimension Valley or not? That's the question. And if he doesn't, oh, we see retreat to Chandelure. Okay, that's weird. Why would you not attack us with Chandelure? All right, so no Eerie Glow here. We see Zubat come to the active spot. Best of our boys confusing me here. And let's see what does the opponent have here. All right, we just did pass here, so that's good for us. Here we'll put down a Mystery Energy action to this Gengar so we can start powering him up. Here we're Verse Seeker for a Colrus. And we'll just play Colrus. All right, so we get a Must Bam. We attach it to the Gengar. And we can just night attack, put 30 on those dust cops. So my opponent doesn't have dust cops anymore. And next turn we can start dark quartering, knocking out Pokemon. We can actually knock out the Zubat because it only has 50 HP. And uh yeah, it seems pretty good there. I was hoping to draw into enhanced damage to try to discard that mist energy off the Chandelure there. Here we see a teammate search the deck for two cards and put them in his hands. Uh maybe double Golbat. Yeah, that seems good. Double Golbat, maybe. Uh, Golbat's something else. Golbat in an energy, so you can actually attack with Chandelure. There we go. That'd be cute. Um, now, the, the thing about being confused here is we have to flip a coin, and if, if we don't flip heads there, we're in trouble. So here we see Dimension Valley comes down. Does he have a Golbat or not? That's the question. I mean, with, with the teammates, I imagine he would have the Golbat. There we see the Golbat coming down here. And yeah, we'll probably see an Eerie Glow for 70, and we'll be burned and confused. And the big question of the day is, do we feel lucky? That is the question. Uh, so let's see, what does my opponent do here? Maybe my opponent won't attack with Chandelure. Maybe he'll just retreat to the other Zubat like we saw last turn. Um, we're still waiting here. He's putting 20 damage counters, I think. Did he already put it somewhere? I'm not sure. What's going on here? Um, opponent's taking a second. So here we see Chandelure come to the active spot here. Or will we see a curse drop putting 40 on the Trevor and actually knocking it out? That could be a play here too. Let's see what point it decides. Okay, DC goes down to the Mega Kangaskhan. And we see a Eerie Glow here. We take a tail, so we take the burn here. Oh, man. All right, so this is what dreams are made of. We can go big or go home, right? Right? Is that what they, isn't that what they say here? Go big or go home? All right. So we have multiple options here. We could guess as my opponent down to see what's in his hand and uh, try to play off that. Uh, we can also Lysandra or something, which doesn't seem that good of a play. We can for sure computer search for a DCE and YOLO that way. So we'll go with Getz's here. We'll see what we get here. All right, so we see a Crobat, the wrong Crobat. All right, we see a Cassius, teammates, Cassius, Zubat. Double Cassius, what am I playing against? All right, so a double Cassius deck, that's what I'm playing against. All right, here, so we can computer search. We can discard the Ultra Ball and the Wally. They seem like they're pretty much useless at this point. And you know what? We're just going to go for it. Put a DC down here. And we're just going to go for the Dark Corridor and see what happens here. Come on, heads. Yes. So that comes through. Here, I actually send it to Trevenant. And it's okay if it gets knocked out there. Woo! Well, we're lucky there. You just, you know, sometimes we got to risk it to get the biscuit. That's what we say here. All right. So we send a Trevenant here. He's got a float stone, but he's probably going to get a good old... Eerie Glow or Curse Drop, whatever one he feels like doing. Either one just knocks us out here. But we can see a Cassius here. Here we see the Crobat coming down, so now he can draw a card anytime he wants before he attacks. Uh, maybe just for consistency. Here we see a Charon. My opponent is drawn through his deck with just Charons and teammates and roller skates and Winonas, and he is going crazy right now. Alright, so we see Chandelure has 80 HP left, and he leaves it to Axe Pop, and he actually just knighted a Dark Quarter for the knockouts. And if he doesn't leave Axe Pop, we're still going to Life Center up and knock it out. Uh, right now, it's 5 to 6 on prizes. We are winning currently. Um, See this chance? So no Cassius. I was scared he was going to Cassius there, and we were going to be in big trouble. So here we see Crobat come to the active spot. 
And uh, we've seen energy go down to Crobat. We might see an Ultra Toxic Fane does 40, and the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Put four damage counters instead of one. Oh my goodness. Uh, so here we see Crobat using its ability to draw a card, and we see a pass from my opponent here. Alright, so we get the Verbeck City down, and this is just so my opponent has played another Dimension Valley to counter it. Here, bring a Lysander, bring a good old Chandelure. Here we will retreat to the Ginga, and we will Dark Order. We're eighty, knocking him out, sending up the Trevenant here, and taking two prizes. All right, so now it's three to six of prizes. We're doing pretty good here. Um, now next turn we can do. What, is this Crobat retreat? Oh, it does. Okay, make sure. So we see King's Content in active spot. Oh man, time to wham bam punch here. Please have the energy. I think he. Well, he dashed energy last turn, so maybe he has another one in his hand. I can't remember what we got to. What was all in there? All right, so I see a Zubat coming down. Z, please have the energy. I want to see a wham bam. Wham, bam, punch. Wham, bam, punch. Come on, wham, bam, punch. Here we see a teammate, so he's for sure getting a energy this turn, so he can wham, bam us. So he's going to guarantee lock here, knockout here. It does 100 damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 30 more damage for each heads. I hope he flips like 10 heads. And that would be amazing. Here we see a Dimension Valley coming down. Once again, my opponent is countering our Verbanks every single time. I think it's both all of Verbanks gone. Here we see, alright, what else does he have here? We see a Psychic Energy come down, so we're going to see a Wham Bam here. And, uh, what, just 100 damage, just so anti-climatic. Look at me using big words. Alright, here we see the Ginga. Alright. So on our turn here, we can put down a Phantom. Um, we can attach a Mystery Energy to this Gengar. Or, I actually just want to attach a DC. We've only played one DCE here. Um, so I'm actually just going to end my opponent down. It seems very, that yeah, seems like a good play there. So he has so many cards left in his deck. Um, and here we will just Dark Quarter. You'll put the DC here, and here we'll just Dark Quarter for 80. Send up Trevenant. Oh man, I forgot. If we don't have a Floatstone, we'll be in trouble there. Maybe the end wasn't the best option there. Maybe we should have ever seeking for Colors. I forgot we only have three prizes cards left. But my opponent had, like, Cassie's in his hand. I don't want him to have all those options, really. So let's see here, what does the good old Mega Kangaskhan have for us here? Now he can't retreat because, oh he can, he has a, I thought it had a 4 energy retreat cost, but it only has 3. So we see an energy go down to the Crobat. And uh, if he passes here, he has 130, we still can't knock him out really. We'd have to Dark Quarter twice. So here we see a Wham Bam, oh just 100 there. Alright, so we survive on, do we Tide Duck a Supporter? Oh, we Tide Duck a DC, that's not something we need. Um, so we'll just pass here once again. Mega Kangaskhan slowly taking some damage here. Let's see what happens. Um, he can retreat if he wants to. That is a very possibility here. Oh, and I forgot about Crobat too, so he's drawing cards. It's just like a slurp buff, except it's a stage 2. Very nice for my opponent to here. Kind of stinks every time we played it at Verbank, he's had a Dimension Valley. It's not like we're, it's, it's kind of like we're struggling, but not struggling. I don't know, it's a weird situation we're in right now. So let's see here. Hopefully he'll just wham bam punch us. That's what I'm hoping he does. Because if he does that, we can send it to Shaman, we can attach a DC here, and we can Sky Return and put Shaman back into our hand. Seems like the great play here. Either way, he should just knock us out. He can knock us out with Crobat. He can actually just pass and knock us out, which seems fine. He actually might run out of time here. Bellsprout Boy's taking a second here. He has 419 left in this play. Um... So here we see a Cassius put Mega Kangaskhan back into his deck here. Oh my goodness. That's a play there. Alright, so you see Crobat come to the X spot. And we see an Ultra Toxic Fang here doing 40 damage. Or 40, and then we're putting 4 damage between the turns, which is pretty crazy here. Here we see an Energy going down to the Zubat. And we see an Ultra Toxic Fang doing 40. Alright. So our turn, we're still going to go with the Shaman play here, just so we can have cards for next turn. So send up Shaman here. Uh, put down the... Tr oh, may we draw into a... To a supporter. I've never been so sad to draw into a supporter. Alright, here. So we can Dark Quarter. Um, here, put down the fans up for sure. You know, we'll still touch a DC here. Your Reverse Seeker for a Chorus. Now we could get Lysander, but I don't think that's really that big of a deal. And he can always just evolve into Golbads. So here we'll just Chorus here. Alright. So we can do Sky Return for 30. And then next turn, we can, uh, so if we do 30 here, we'll have 100 HP left. We do 6, 7, 8, and then that's not a knockout. So here we'll just retreat. 
to the Gengar, and here we'll use Dark Quarter for 80, and we'll set up Vant up here, letting it knocked out. The next time we actually Sky Return for the knockout, uh, knocking out the Crobat with the Shaman, which seems pretty cool there. But maybe my opponent will start getting up another Mega Kangaskhan. Here we see an Evil Soda, so this will get a Golbat, but it doesn't put two damage counters because he is evolving it uh, from the deck and not from his hand, so no two damage there. Alright. My opponent will go down to three cards here. Here we see another Evil Soda get down another Crobat. I mean, oh, a Golbat. Sorry, not Crobat. So we see another Golbat come down, which is good for us. None of this sneaky bite shenanigans going on. Like I said, he might just run out of time, too. Um, which is good for us. And uh, we're going to see a prize here for sure with the Ultic, Ultra Toxic Fang here. Alright, so here we see this Crobat has 30 HP left. Alright, so my turn, I'm going to send up the Shaman, of course. It has a free retreat with a Floodstone. Um, here we'll put down the Gengar. We'll attach a Mystery Energy to it, just try to get another one loaded up. And actually, I can just send it up after we Sky Return. That seems fine. And we'll just play it in here. And the reason why we could do this, we have Shaman for next turn. Which is pretty good. Uh, we get a Sacred Dash, so we can get back Trevenants if we need them. How many are in here? One, two, three. Okay, that's yeah. Oh, let's think here. All right, so yeah, let's let's Sacred Dash get back Trevenants. So it's Trevenant, uh, Trevenant, Phantom, Phantom, and Drachi. Maybe we can Drachi for late game if we need a support. And here we'll Sky Return, knocking out the Crobat here. And here we'll send up the Gengar. My opponent has to send up Pokemon first here. I think send up the Gengar is the best play here, just in case he Ultra Toxic Fingers. Um, he can, he can only do 80 to us. We get a Muscle Band, so we can put another Muscle Band down and uh, start attacking the other Gengar. So we'll put a Gengar here. <laughs> and this one does have damage too, so we can Muscle Band DC it. Here we see a Town Map. We see Dusko, Mewtwo, and Psychic Energy. Here we see an Evo Soda, so this will get a Crobat here. Or nothing, maybe he only plays one Crobat. Uh, he's only played one so far. And we see a Swoop Across here for 10. Alright, we look like we're in shape now. We're doing good now. Alright, so now we can knock out this Golbat here for sure. We can uh, put a Muscle Band. We can DCE it. We can Floodstone this Trevenant. And we can just play the Sycamore, which seems fine. Um, yeah, we'll just play the Sycamore. Alright. Still don't get a um what is it? A Trevenant here. We put wait, we put all three back into the deck and we didn't draw on one. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy there. We didn't get one back. Alright, but here we can dark quarter for the knockout. And send up this Gengar. Um yeah, I think it's fine. That's fine play. So here are do we have how many Ultra Balls have we played? Okay, whatever, we're trainers mail here. Let's see what we get. We get the Ultra Ball, okay, sweet. So now we can get a Trevenant. So Ultra Ball discards these two. And I'm just getting the Trevenant just in case you play some weird, wacky item card that I don't know about. So put Trevenant, Trevenant down here. We'll just Dark Quarter for the knockout. Send up Trevenant here. All right, so take a prize here. We have one left. We look like we're in good shape here. I was a little worried. I'm not going to lie to you. This game is rather long here. But I think Bellsprout Boy was just carefully thinking over his thoughts here, thought processes and everything, uh, which is no problem here. So we just see a Super Cross here for 10 damage. And it uh, looks like we're going to win this game here. Let's see the crazy happens right now. And uh, we'll just retreat to Ginga. And we'll just Dark Quarter for the knockout. Send up Trevenant. And we'll take our last prize there. There we go. Victory screen. And yeah, we won another match. So we're into the finals. And we get a ticket too. So we've only pay technically paid for five. And we get some uh, some more XP. And next round, tournament starts six seconds. We get 50 tokens. We get some psychic points. All right. All right. And... Just give me it. Next video, we'll see the finals, and hopefully we won't win this time. I mean, hopefully we 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 won't lose this time. Alrighty.